Ah. Gross. Hey everyone, so this week's video has been a little bit of an experiment for me and our family and I'm kind of reporting back, I guess. So some of you might find this kind of gross, others, I hope most of you will find this interesting. Anyway, in this week's video I am going to talk you through the rubbish that we have accumulated as a family this week. This does not include things that my husband has disposed of in his working week, I'm more interested in what we as a family, as a household, produce and send either to landfill or to recycling. It's like a little kind of, I don't know what this is. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the video. Okay, got all of our rubbish for the last week here. And I'm gonna go through it now. It hasn't been sorted yet for recycling and not for recycling, so I'm gonna do that now. Right, first things first is this. Now, I need to explain this quickly. We live in a rented cottage and the lady that used to live here still has our address on loads of her things. So we get so many of her letters and particularly her junk mail. Now I know that I need to phone up this company and tell them that she no longer lives here. She has so much mail arrived for her. So many clothes catalogues, toys catalogues. This one, like a toy superstore catalog. I do not want this. So yeah, actually after this video, I'm gonna phone up this company and get this address taken off their dispatch list. The next thing we have is a who gives a crap toilet roll. I'm actually gonna keep this to do something creative with. It'll be useful soon, so I'm gonna put it in the kids' art drawer. The next thing is a birthday card that I received this week. It's my birthday a couple of weeks ago. Um, beautiful card. Uh, from a friend, so nice, but, and I've spoken before about birthday cards, I do struggle with them because I love the messages inside, I love the outside, but we can't keep all the birthday cards that we get, so it has to go in the recycling. And now I look at it, I'm like, oh god, I could keep this to do something arty with with the kids, but I think it's going to have to go in the recycling. I absolutely love this card though. If you're watching Claire, thank you so much. This is some packaging from the gift that she sent me, which was a tea towel, and this was just wrapped around it. This is just cardboard, so it will be completely recyclable. The next thing is a weekend newspaper, which we finished reading. We tend not to get newspapers very often because of this reason. They end up uh, in the bin, but we did get them this weekend. This is the rubbish from it. Right. This is some packaging from, what did I get, what did I get, what did I get? I can't remember, but it's packaging from what we had something delivered. Ooh, yuck, okay. This, and it's a bit gross, there's something wet in here, yuck, uh, is the packaging from a new bra that I got that I'm obsessed with. I think I'm wearing it here. Um, it's from a company called Organic Basics, and uh, it came in this plastic wrapper, but the actual uh, bra itself was in this paper bag, which is lovely, but yeah, it did come in plastic packaging. I'm going to let them know about that. Um, this was the bra. The next thing is a dishwasher tablet plastic wrapper, an e-cover one. I am determined to make my own dishwasher recipe in order to eliminate stuff like this. This is a Weetabix wrapper. Um, yeah, I don't really have that much else to say about that except for it's a Weetabix wrapper. <laughs> This is a paper bag from something that Sam bought home, I think a croissant or something. A tuna tin. I get single tins, not the multi-pack, which means you don't get the plastic wrap around the outside, but you do still, of course, get the old tin. Okay, this is a naughty one. We got some ice creams and, uh, yeah, sometimes when I'm taking the kids supermarket shopping, I get them like a little treat as we go around and they really wanted ice cream, so this is what we got envelopes from post. Man, I'm making such a mess down here. <laughs> a baked beans tin. Do you guys know you can get no added sugar ones, which is really good for the kids. A receipt. I think this is what came with my bra. A granola box. Because as much as I would love the kids to eat plastic-free packaged oats for breakfast every morning, they don't. And they love granola, so this is the pack from it. And then somewhere in here will be the little plastic bag that holds a granola. I think that's it. That's the lid from the tuna. More envelopes. This is our Who Gives a Crap toilet roll paper. Paper. Um, I do keep some of this for art stuff, but again, not loads, so I am actually going to chuck this. A pale ale bottle. Sam. Toilet roll. Okay, naughty alert. Feta cheese wrapper. 
uh, my absolute weakness. I cannot find it package free anywhere. If anyone knows of a company that sells it in a jar, I think there is one, please let me know. A letter from the nursery, a juice carton. We never, ever, ever have juice. But uh, for Jack's birthday, which was in April, I bought some to give the kids and uh, I think we had some left over and I opened a pack last week and we finished it. So that's that. More envelopes. Lots of milk bottle tops. So we get our milk delivered and I used to pop these in through into the bottle, but I was told by my milkman not to do that because it can cause problems in the bottling process. So now we have to get rid of these another way. A UPS note, another dishwasher tablet wrapper. I really need to start making my own. An elastic band and a leaf. And that's it guys. Empty. Look at all that gross rubbish. Most of it is from packaging. I'm quite pleased with that. No plastic bottles, no real food wrappers except the Magnum and the Feta. But yeah, I hope you found that interesting. The goal is each week we're trying to reduce it a little bit and I want to get to a point in a ideal world where we don't even have a rubbish bin because we're not producing any waste. That is the dream scenario. Um, I now need to go through all of this and work out what is recyclable and what isn't recyclable. But yeah, some of this will be, some of it won't be, most of it will be. And then there's just things like this. I mean, it doesn't even say if it's recyclable or not which is quite upsetting and often these kind of things are a mix of various different types of plastic which means they are not recyclable but this doesn't even say on it so that's annoying. I hope you enjoyed this video. I rubbish everywhere now so I better tidy it up. I'd love to see what you guys have in your rubbish bin so if you do make a video or a post or anything about that please tag me in it. Otherwise thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!